All right, this is modding Sins of the Solar Empire, but this is Trinity and not Rebellion. I pray to Bejeebus that it is the same as it has always been. If not, then I am sorry. <laughs> Don't kill me. First off, if you're on Steam, you're going to need to go to your Sins folder, which is going to be on your C drive program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Sins of the Solar Empire Trinity. And my webcam is falling down. In there, you're going to need a few files out of there. You're going to need your convert data files. And you're going to need this manifest. And I believe it's these two files. We'll find out in a second. First off, open a new window to your main computer. Go into your C drive and then make a folder. Anything you want to name it, but keep it short so you can type it easily. And inside, you're going to copy those files I mentioned earlier into here. So go and find them and paste them in. And then, depending on what you're modding, you're going to need to look through these folders for whatever it is you're modding. In this case, we're going to do a unit picture mod. So first, you're going to need to go into Window and find the file called Ship Picture, or oh, Picture Ship Find. It's going to be a dot .brushes file. You're going to need to copy it and paste it into that folder that we made earlier. Once you've got it pasted in there, you can go back to your sins folder and then... I don't remember what file it is. Hang on. Textures. There we go. It's in the textures folder. Yeah. You'll need to find in this massive pile of files. I believe it's picture ship again. Oh my. I'm sorry. Unit picture. Once you find it, you'll see it's a DDS file, so you're going to need some kind of picture editing software. I have GIMP downloaded. You can take that and. Uh, well, hold on to it. <laughs> you know, for safekeeping. Yes? Yeah, okay. Once you've found out where it is and have it ready, you'll need to go into your uh, command prompt and direct it to where you placed that convert data file. So mine will be C drive sins mod. And then you'll need to type in convert data diplomacy. If I could spell that, would be wonderful. Now, if you're pulling from a folder that has diplomacy or entrenchment, you're going to be using the corresponding convert data. But some files, I'm not sure I haven't completely figured it out yet, need to have diplomacy used rather than original sins. I don't know. Don't ask me about that because I completely forget everything about modding. So, yeah. So from there, you need to put uh, put in convert data diplomacy, and then you need to put in the file type that you're converting from. So in our case, it's brushes. And then put the file name, and do it again. And then here you want to put either a dot text or Dot bin. For now, we're going to use a text so you can actually understand the file. Provided you haven't done anything horribly wrong, it should bring you back to the front of the folder, and this, fol this file will be updated. You can see you can read it now. Before, if you click on it, it would be a bunch of insanity. And before we go any further, you'll need to find your sins modding folder. In my case, it's on my C drive, users, and then my main user, app data, local, ironclad games, Sins of Solar Empire, and then I have mods diplomacy. I guess in Rebellion, that'll be different. So I think that's the one exception to the modding rule. Make a new folder for your mod. Name it so you don't go insane. If you'd go insane, I take no responsibility for that. And inside that, 
you'll need to name your folders the same as the folder you've pulled from. So if I pull it ship picture dot brushes from window, I need to make a folder in my modding folder called window. So now that we have our converted file, our brushes file, we can look at it and see how it all works. When you go back to your sins folder, go back to uh, go back to it and find unit picture. Copy it and bring it to your modding folder, and you can paste it in here. Make sure it's in a textures folder as well. You can open it with whatever you have, and we can get ready to paste in some stuff. Yeah, all right. Sorry. You can see every type of unit picture is in here for buildings, ships, or whatever. I'm going to do an example. You can see you can see some of mine already already in there, which I've which I've already shown on my channel. Now you want to clear up my window. Jeez, so clustered. That would that would have been done. Now when you have if you're using GIMP, you can just copy a picture. We're going to use this one because it's awesome. <laughs> you might zoom out because. We can fit it. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Cancel that. You'll need to place your image in one of these tiny blocks. So you need to scale it down until it can fit into said blocks. Okay, that looks fine, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, now you need to, if you're using GIMP, okay, now that we have our image, we can finally enter it into the image, into the bottom image. Do that on GIMP by using the layer, not layer. Well, when you have the image selected, you can go over here to your layers and then anchor it, and it's in the image as if you're copying and pasting it. So now that we have that, we need to save our DDS, and then we need to go to our folder and go back to the picture ship converted text file. We need to go into it and search for whatever ship picture you're going to mod. Tech are considered the tech. The advent are called the Psy and the Visari are called the phase. Now in this case we're going to mod an advent colony ship. So we need to find the Psy colony. And we need to go into our, fi our DDS file, and if you look at the very top corner of the block, you'll take the coordinates you have there. So we'll put in 852, and then 80. Don't bother changing the numbers over here. I'm pretty sure those define the text box height and the length. So if you edit those, it'll make everything explode. Unless you do, unless like, you like know what you're doing. But yeah, save your file, and then you can close out of it. Save this again just to be sure. And you'll need to take your new unit picture file, copy it, and I close my modding folder, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. No way I did. My bad, sorry. 
he'll take your brushes file as well put it in window check to make sure that you have it updated and it's the right one Oops. and now we get to see if this worked or not so let's find out that should be everything you need to do in order to get a unit picture mod I think I put it on the wrong ship, so let's find out again. We are exiles no longer. Okay, there we go. I am sorry, guys. I edited the wrong text box. Okay, um, this is an example of why you need to double check your work, especially during this stuff. You know, it it it's it's just silly sometimes. Anyway, that's how you mod Sins as Fallen Empire Trinity. I pray to be Jesus, like I said before, that it works for Rebellion. If it does not, then I will make sure to learn how to do it in Rebellion. So just yell at me in the comments, it doesn't work.